Well, a Jacksonville officer's condition is critical but stable tonight, one day after he was shot during an early morning encounter on the city's west side. West side and tonight we've learned more about that officer's medical prognosis and we're also hearing from the shooter's fiance who is apologizing for his actions. On your side, Tristan Hardy is joining us live at the Parkview Ridge subdivision. This is where the shooting happened and Tristan yesterday the sheriff said he didn't know if the officer would have a future in law enforcement. What are we hearing today? Well, Anthony, I can tell you law enforcement sources tell us that Officer Duracad's uh, prognosis has improved. Now, initially there were concerns regarding his future mobility, but our sources tell us that doctors are more confident in his recovery, but he still has a long road ahead of him. Officer Malik Duracad's body camera shows the moment he was shot Sunday morning. I see this happening more and more um, around the country. It's happening here since I've been sheriff twice. I've only been sheriff since November 20th. And that was, it's very rare that you have officers shot in that short a time frame. The shooter, 32-year-old Taliko Maduro, later killed himself. His fiance was there at the time. I'm still processing everything. I talked to Rebecca Burns, Maduro's fiance, on the phone. Burns expressed how sorry she was after Sunday's shooting. It's, it's terrible. It's just terrible. And I'm very, very sorry. Burns says after Maduro fired at police and before he turned the gun on himself, he was apologizing for shooting a police officer. She tells First Coast News she doesn't know why he would pick up a weapon. And he just kept saying sorry. And it was just very chaotic between his, his mom on the phone and all the officers and everything. Now coming up at six, I talked to our crime and safety expert, Mark Bachman, how likely JSO will review this incident so they can improve on their work. We're live in Jacksonville. I'm Tristan Hardy, First Coast News on your side.